Hi guys, welcome to our first video looking at the Psalms. Um, so today we're going to look at Psalm 46. Um, uh, this is a short Psalm in comparison to some of the others which are like this big, um, but it doesn't take anything away from how important this Psalm is and how powerful it is as well. Um, so this is what it says. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. A river brings joy to the city of our God, the sacred home of the Most High. God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. The nations are in chaos and the kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Come, see the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction from upon the world. He causes wars to end throughout the earth. He causes wars to end throughout the earth by breaking the bow and the snapping the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honoured by every nation. I will be honoured throughout the world. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. So there's three things that I'm going to talk about that we can take from this um, passage. Now there's lots more in there, but for this video, I'm going to just focus on these three things. And the first of those is God is our refuge and he provides our strength in everything that we do. In the good times and in the bad times, in the difficult and tricky times, um, and in the exciting but uneasy times, he's there to provide us with our strength and he's there to be our refuge. So even now, within all this upheaval caused by the lockdown and the COVID-19, we don't need to fear because that's what this verse says. In everything, we don't need to fear because we have our refuge in God and we have our strength from him. But what about when life goes back to normal? What do we do then? Do we just ignore this passage? No, because everything that we do, it, it, we need to seek our refuge in God and we need to find strength from him. And that's going to be in the tough times. That's going to be in the easy times as well. And actually relying on God is something that we do as Christians all the time. And that's part of our walk with God to do is rely on him in everything. So the second thing is, how do we actually access this refuge and strength that God gives us? So it indicates it in verses four to, uh, verses four to seven. It talks about Mount Zion, which is God's holy place where he's dwelling, where his presence dwells. So in the Old Testament, God's spirit would dwell on certain places or certain people. But because of what Jesus did on, by dying on the cross and the gift of the Holy Spirit being given to us when he ascended to heaven, we can have access to God's presence all the time because it's in us. The Holy Spirit is inside of us. Um, and that is a really crucial thing. But because we have that, we can access God's refuge and his strength. And actually, when we read these verses, we can find comfort that through our faith and trust in him, through finding refuge in him and through finding strength in him, we will be secure in him in times of uncertainty because we can access it all through the Holy Spirit. And the third thing is that ultimately verses 8 to 11 tell us that God will be glorified. He'll be honoured in the version that I just read to you guys. Um, and he'll be exalted and he'll be praised no matter what. But that isn't through what we do. It doesn't mean that we can go off and do anything we want because it'd be all right because God's going to get glorified. No, it means that actually by obeying what the Bible says, obeying what Jesus um, told us to do, and by having a relationship with Jesus, we're honouring God, we're glorifying God. So overall, this passage tells us that even if we don't feel that God's there, he's there. And it's really important to remind ourselves that when we don't feel like he's there, he is there and actually we can ask him, we can pray to say, God, show me that you're here, reveal yourself to me so that I know that you are here with me. So how is your walk with God? Do you feel close to him? Does he feel far away? 
draw near to him today. Draw near to him, near to him now by reading or listening to the Bible, by praying, by worshipping, using worship music, um, or even playing your own instruments if you're that way gifted. For me, it would just be a triangle. Um, but anything that worship, involves worshipping God and talking to God and reading his word and feeding yourself with his scripture is a really important thing to do. And I just really want to encourage you all to just spend that time each day with God in this way.